A 3D survey is an aerial collection of data resulting in common midpoints, or CMPs, at regular intervals over the survey area, rather than focused along a two-dimensional line. In acquiring land 3D data, the geophone array and shots do not necessarily fall on the same line. In fact, the shot line may be perpendicular to the geophones. There are also usually multiple lines of geophones active at the same time. In marine 3D surveys, multiple sources, streamers and boats, are used to acquire several seismic lines simultaneously. Because CMPs are distributed over an area, we must sort the shot receiver pairs and assign their reflection traces to the appropriate CMP. We then gather the traces and CMPs into binning grids. These bins are oriented along the actual shot and receiver lines. Their dimensions are usually a multiple of the shot and receiver spacings. All traces and CMPs that fall within a particular bin are assumed to image the same subsurface area, even if the traces were acquired from different lines. These binned data form a three-dimensional volume. The acquisition geometry defines the three principal axes of the data volume, and the data may be displayed using vertical, horizontal, and diagonal cuts through this volume. Let's define three common ways to cut through the data volume. Inlines, cross lines, and time slices. An inline is a vertical seismic section along the primary direction of data acquisition. Cross lines are vertical seismic sections perpendicular to the inlines. If we design and orient the survey correctly, inlines are usually in the direction of primary dip, with cross lines usually in the strike direction. We may create cross lines from the processed data by extracting traces from each inline to form our cross lines. We may also extract an arbitrary line, perhaps connecting several wells in the survey area. The data volume may also be cut horizontally, extracting data at every trace location at the same time value. We call the resulting display a time slice. Let's look at some of the advantages that 3D has over traditional 2D seismic methods. Data density. Small geological features and fault details are seen and mapped more accurately. Data accuracy. 3D resolves out-of-plane features that we cannot resolve with 2D data, and 3D migration positions data correctly in space. Flexibility of data displays. Multiple vertical lines and time slices cut through the data volume, provide new views and more information than we can extract from two-dimensional sections. 3D seismic data provides a continuum of data, covering every past and future well location. 3D seismic provides data essential in making field development and appraisal decisions. And since the Earth is three-dimensional, not two-dimensional, 3D seismic gives a better approximation of the real Earth.